What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! Look at you two cuties! Coop, you are too cute, dude. I love it. Don't take it off. Don't... Oh, Coda, you actually look like the Easter Bunny. Come here, buddy. Come on. Coda, come here. Come on. Good boy! Good boy! You don't like it either. Yeah, I know. They're probably pretty uncomfortable. I just love how each of them have their own that actually match their hair color. Like, that looks legit. If you stand back a little bit, it actually does look like those are Coop's real ears. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy. You look like a little dingo or something like that. But uh, anyway, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Super Cooper Sunday. Today is Easter, so happy Easter to all of you guys out there from our family to yours. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday, whether you celebrate Easter or not. Now what? Uh, today in Florida, we have an absolutely beautiful day. It's great. I'm happy about it, but it's also kind of unfortunate because Chelsea's not going to be able to join us. We were planning on recording this episode yesterday, one day ahead of time because she had time off work and stuff like that, but it was super cloudy, rainy, just a really nasty day, and Unfortunately, today's weather was supposed to be great and she just happens to be working. So Chelsea's not gonna be joining us for this episode, but that's all right, we're still gonna have a ton of fun, right boys? Right, Coda, good boy. Coop, where you at? There he is, we're gonna have a ton of fun. So I've got a couple of really, really cool things planned. Obviously, one of the, the biggest pastimes of Easter is an Easter egg hunt. So we've got some plastic Easter eggs here and I just went to the store and got some of the stinkiest, most rewarding, most smelly treats I could possibly find. We've got some hot dogs. So that's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have an Easter egg hunt inside and outside of the house. It should be a lot of fun. I totally just tripped over their brand new water bowl, but it's pretty snazzy, right? Anyway, yeah, that's how we're gonna be starting off the episode, Easter egg hunt, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna give them some easy ones. They're also gonna have some hard ones. So Coop, do you think you're gonna be able to find them all? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Coda, are you ready for it? There's gonna be lots of hot dogs and lots of treats. If you do, that'll be a lot of fun. And then finally, after that, to end things off, we are gonna be doing the egg challenge. The egg challenge is something you guys have been asking for us to do in the series for a long time. Honestly, it became popular like a year ago or something like that, so we're a little bit late to it, but I thought what better day than Easter to do the egg mouth challenge. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, we're gonna have a great day. Let's get started. Now boys, the way I see it, Coda, are you coming? Yep, there you are. The way I see it is that an Easter egg hunt is only as good as the prizes, right? Coda, those are dirty dishes, you don't need those. Now if we're talking one of these boys' of favorite treats, We've gotta be talking eggs. Easily the favorite treat of all. They know the carton, they know the smell, they know everything, they love eggs. Oftentimes, we'll give them like as a special treat, like an egg on top of their meal or whatever. Eggs can be really, really good sources of protein and calcium, and then also it's good for their like coats and stuff like that. It makes them nice and shiny and soft. So we are gonna be cooking up a couple of hard boiled eggs here, and we're gonna hide real eggs. So the winners of that get a real egg. It's not a hot dog and an egg, it's an actual egg, boys. This is a big deal. All right, boys, it's looking like they're about done. It's been about 15 minutes here, so let's go ahead and grab these guys out. We're gonna put them on the plate. Good boy, Coop, don't even think about it. All right, we've got another one here. Got another one here. I'm hoping there's enough that everybody gets to find one. We'll probably have to fix it, so at least at least each of them gets to find one, but uh, I'm not, what's the proper way to peel these? Do you just, I'm just, do you just do that? I'm gonna peel them like this, but that's all right, because I have plenty of help. I have one egg helper right here, and then I've got another one that just popped his head up over there. So we're gonna get these things open, and uh, then let's get on with the hunt. Let's see what they think. I just wanna let you guys know what this prize is gonna be. That smells pretty good, right? Nope, you can't have it yet. You can't have it yet. I just want you to know what's on the line. Coop, what do you think, dude? Oh yeah, they oh they both like it. They're both, they're licking it at the same time. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's give you guys a little taste of what you could possibly win. Here we go. Coda, you ready? Are you gonna catch it? Probably not. No, almost. That was a good attempt. Coop, come here, come here. Oh, you got up quickly. Stay, good boy, catch it. Good boy! We've also got the little hot dog bites that are gonna be going in the eggs. Man, this is like a puppy buffet right here. Coop, how fast do you think you could clear this plate? I know that smells so, so, so good to you. Do you want a piece of hot dog, dude? You can, you can pre-taste the hot dog too. I've been eating some, so I gotta share the love. Cody, you get one as well. Uh, not quite. 
What do you guys think? Did we do good? Do we have some good treats in there? Is it gonna be nice and smelly so you guys can find it? It better be because I'm not taking it easy on you guys. We're gonna have a couple of easy ones to show you how it works, but uh, I'm actually gonna try to get some pretty tricky spots and we'll see if these boys can figure it out. So what do you guys say? Do you wanna start the hunt? Let's do it. Now first things first, let's teach these boys how these eggs work and see, make sure they aren't gonna swallow them, that's the biggest thing. I don't think they are, because I'm pretty sure we did this last year, and they, they kind of understood how the eggs worked. Like, Coda took forever to try to crack them open and get to the treat, but he at least understood you couldn't eat the eggs. So, these boys have done this before. If you're gonna do it at home, just be careful with your dogs. Make sure they don't try to like chew up the plastic or anything. But, uh, let's go ahead and throw some hot dogs in here. Coda, do you wanna try going first? Here you go. Here's an egg, there's hot dog in there. Figure it out, buddy. You got this. <laughs> okay, at least he knows not to eat it. <laughs> oh, oh, I think he got it. He's almost got it. It's like halfway open. There you go, good boy. You got the hot dog. That was pretty impressive. All right, Coop, it's your turn, are you ready? Here we go, get it. Good boy, good boy. That's all yours. A nice hot dog. Now don't, don't chew the egg. Okay, good boy, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, that was a little bit concerning. Get it, Coop, get it, get it. Oh, you're gonna use your hands? Oh, wow, okay. A big fat punch and that's all it takes. They both know not to eat the egg, so that's a good thing and uh, that means we can get on with the hunt. Now, since I'm only one person, I can only hold one camera and I can't follow both the boys around at the same time, they're gonna have to go individually. So, I've split them up. They each have five eggs, a green one, a pink one, a yellow one, a blue one, and an orange one. Each one of these has a hot dog in it and the outsides have been rubbed with hot dogs. So they should be super stinky. They should hopefully be easy to find. We'll see what happens. And uh, they're each gonna go. They're gonna have five minutes to find all five of those eggs. Hopefully they both get all five. We'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna do like three or four eggs inside and then maybe one or two eggs outside. We'll see where we find hiding spots. But uh, yes, we're gonna do that. And then after that, we're gonna have the hard boiled egg round where it's just, you know, one egg each and they've gotta find it. That's gonna be like the real treat. This is gonna be fun. Hope you boys are ready. Now, before we can get started, I need to hide these things. So both of you guys need to come in the room. Good boys, go in the hiding room. You guys are used to this. Good boy, Coop. Koda, come on. I've got to hide these eggs and you can't see. Come on, let's go. Let's go, you're used to this. I always do this in like hide and seek and stuff. All right, here we go. We're gonna shut this door. I'll be right back, boys. I'm gonna make the first egg for each of them super, super easy, just to kind of get them in the mood of the game, make them realize, oh, hey, I'm looking for these eggs. So the bedroom's right here. I'm just gonna set it in the rocks right here. So they're immediately gonna come out, smell the egg, hopefully. We'll see what happens, who knows, with Coda and uh, it'll let them know like, hey, I'm looking for these eggs. I think I'm gonna have Coda go first so we can add a little bit of height to it. I'm gonna set the second one up here on the couch. He's gonna have to find that one. That's not gonna be easy, but I, I think he's got it. Number three is gonna go in Chelsea's workout shoe. So that's gonna smell lovely. And then I say that we do a couple outside. Traditional Easter eggs hunts happen outside, so we could do like, one here, he's gonna have to get close to the edge of the pool. And then I'm gonna say one over here. I'm gonna try to kind of like guide them in the right direction if they're struggling, but uh, I also like, I, I want them to actually have to find it. So I feel like that's a good spot. So here we go. Coda, Coda, come here. Coda, are you ready? It's gonna be your turn first, dude, all right? Do you smell my hand? Ooh, that smells so good, right? You've got five minutes, dude. You got this, all right? Three, two, one. You got a bit of a head start, but that's okay. Go, go. Oh no, here, smell my finger. This is what you're looking for. You gotta track that down. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta track it. You, you gotta track it down. There you go. Good boy, that's the first one. <laughs> now the problem is not only do they have to find them, they also have to get them open and get the treat too. So that's gonna be a part of the problem. You gotta be quick about it, dude. All right, he's got it cracked open. There it is, boom, that's number one. 
Good boy. You got it. All right, let's go, go, go. Coda, come on. Let's go. We got to keep searching. We got to keep going. Come on. Let's go. You got to search around. Like maybe if we walk over this way. Mm, no, maybe if we walk over this way. Come on. Let's walk towards the shoe. What if there was something over towards this corner? You know what I mean? No. Well, what if I wanted to sit down right here? Oh, you'd, you'd, you'd come cuddle with me. You wouldn't, uh, you know, like, hello? No, I can't talk right now. I'm hanging out with Coda. You know what I mean? Like something like that. You got it? You found it. Okay, boom, there you go. <laughs> And it cracked open on the way out. Oh my goodness, Coda, this dude, 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 please. <laughs> this is just a little embarrassing. All right, Coda, we're about three minutes in. You're kind of not on pace like I was hoping, but that's okay. We're gonna keep walking this way. We're gonna keep walking. Dude, are you not sniffing? Here, here, hey, sniff my fingers. Do you, come here, look, Coda, come here. What if we just like hung out on the couch? You know what I mean? What if we, what if we just sat like this? There he actually did kind of get that one. I had to like hand feed it to him, but he, he at least found that one. I didn't have to drop it for him. Did you get it? Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna count it anyway. Here you go. You gotta get it open though. Get it open, Coda, get it open. You're at three minutes and 44 seconds. Oh, you got it open, good job. Good job, buddy. All right, boom, there we go. So I'm gonna give you a big tip. There are no more left inside the house, so we've gotta go outside, come on. Come on, Coda. What's over here? What's over here? Four minutes, 11 seconds, come on. What's over here? What's it, Koto, Koto, what's over here? Oh gosh, oh here we go, oh here we go. <gasps> oh he's peeing while, while sniffing. Koto look, hey, come here, look. You literally licked it, I can see your spit on it. Koto look, get it, get it. Come on, you're about to run out of time. Do you get it? No, you don't want it? Get it, come on, you gotta get it, go get it. You like follow the trail to it outside, you just didn't wanna eat it out there? Unfortunately, I can't count that one, you are out of time. Oh my goodness, he went right to it and then he just refused to open it, that was kinda funny. But anyway, so Coda, after his five minutes, found three. Honestly, not bad, I didn't expect him to get all of them, but I was hoping for at least four, but not bad. I guess technically he found four, he just didn't actually get it open so it doesn't count. Anyway. It's Coop's turn. Same as before, I'm gonna be starting off with a really, really easy one here, and um, I'm trying to think of a slightly different spot, but I don't think there is one. I'm just gonna put it right here, same as Coda. So that's the first one. Second one, let's make it tough. I'm gonna say, let's put it like up here. At a little bit of height for Cooper. Obviously, he's not nearly as tall as Coda, but at least that one's a little tricky. I'm gonna make the next one super hard. We're gonna put it back here. Hopefully he can at least grab that thing. I don't know. I don't want him to push it back behind the love sack, but we'll see if we can find that. Then for the fourth and fifth ones, we'll go back outside to be fair. I feel like it makes it kind of hard because there's so many smells out here and chill. Our neighbor actually just turned his grill on. But um, I'm gonna put one here, just like Coda. And then I'm gonna put one here, kind of by the, the garden hose. That's probably gonna be pretty tough. All right, Coop, are you ready? Here we go, it's your turn. You have five minutes to find five eggs, all right? Three, Coda, back up, back up, back up. You already had your turn, dude. He just wants to go again. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go ahead, go. Hurry up, your time has started. All right, here we go. Oh, he's already, he's already on it. Oh, he was ready. He was ready for it. That's what I was expecting out of Coda. All right, he's got it. He's gonna take it to the rug, I guess. He got it, boom, there it is. All right, one down in the first like 30 seconds or so. That was actually pretty impressive. All right, go, come on. We gotta move on to the next one. We gotta keep searching. Use that nose. Use that nose. No, we're not going outside. Not yet. Let's use that nose. We're kind of close to that one. Oh, whoa. In the love sack. You're not supposed to do that. It's not in there. Those are old toys. Okay, so he missed it on the first lap. I don't wanna make it too easy, but I am gonna try to try to kind of guide him in the right direction. Oh, he's back over here. What do you think? Oh, oh, you're so close. Are you kidding me? Cooper. You're missing the big picture here. No, get out of the love sack. Somewhere close over here. We were pretty pretty lenient on Coda, so I feel like, oh, there it is, he found it. He did find it himself. All I did was sit down. I didn't have to put the shoe up to my face, you know what I mean? You having a hard time? We'll help you out, because we helped Coda with the couch one. All right, boom. There we have it, number two. Back to the rug, I guess. This is an interesting strategy, but that's, 
No, no, we're, we bypassed the rug, we're going to the bed. Burning a lot of time here. I don't know if that's the best strategy, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Looks like he's popped this one open. He's having a hard time getting to the hot dog though. There he goes, all right. He got it. So that's two in about two minutes, not too bad. You're looking all right, Coop, but we gotta be quicker than that. Come on, come here, buddy. Cooper, come. That one's done, come here. No, you don't need to bring the eggshell. We don't need that. We gotta use our sniffers. Oh man, he was so close right there. We gotta, Coop, Coop, Coop. Come on, come on, you got this. You're so close. Oh, he smells it in the old shoe, but that's not where we're looking now, come on. There it is, good boy! Good boy! All right, he's doing a good job. Back to the bed we go. Dude, how did you eat the egg in half? He had this one open before I even got over here. All right, boom, there you have it. That's a good boy, come on, let's go. We gotta go outside. The last two are outside, good boy, good boy. We're going outside, we're not going swimming, and we're not going potty, at least not yet. Don't pull a coda. Cooper, no. Oh, he got it, no way, no way. Good boy, good boy, good boy. You gotta hurry up, oh no. He's gonna lose because he always takes it back into the bed. You gotta open it up, hurry, hurry. You just gotta get the hot dog, it's in there. He's taking the, the chomp it until it opens up approach now. He's not using his paws anymore. Boom, there you got it, all right. Good boy, good job. We've got about 30 seconds left, come on. This one's gonna be tough, dude. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get it. I think he's more interested in swimming than finding this last one. But hey, he got four. He did a good job. Good boy, good boy, you did a good job, but eh, your time was up. You didn't get the blue one, you didn't see it, you ran right by it. Sorry, buddy, look at him licking his lips. I'm gonna put one right here behind the fridge. Other one's gonna go over here, kinda behind the kennel. And I'm gonna do my best to make sure they each get one. Whoever finds the first one, I'm gonna kinda lead the other one to it, but uh, all right. You're free for real this time. Sorry, I forgot I had to hide him and we'll see what happens. All right, I really wanna see who's quicker here. We've got Cooper going to the back door. We've got Coda just coming out in the middle. And I'm gonna try my best not to give any hints right now. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh-oh, oh, Coop's on the trail. Coop's on the trail. Oh, he missed it. You're close. Coda, what are you thinking? What are you doing over here? Oh, Coop's following now. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll do, I'll do some walk-arounds, I guess, if you guys wanna come here. Coda, come, come on. Let's do some, some walk arounds, you know what I mean? Come on, boys. Come on. Little walk arounds. See if we see anything. Uh oh, I think Coda found it first. No way. Good boy, Coda. You got that whole hard boiled egg. You can actually eat that thing whole. You don't have to open it up. That's nice, right? Yeah, it's. <laughs> what are you doing? Coda. You literally just ate it earlier in the video. Eat the egg, dude. Coop, come here, come here, come on. This is like a little bonus round. It's not meant to be too difficult. Coop, come here. You better smell this when we walk by. What in the world are you doing? Cooper, no, not, not the trash. There it is. I knew he was gonna find it. Good boy! Cooper got one extra egg in the actual hunt itself. Coda was the first one to find the hard boiled eggs as the bonus episode, the bonus round, so. I'd say we're all winners here. I'm really proud of both of you boys. But now, to end things off, as one final test, we're gonna try the egg challenge. So the egg challenge started, like I said, a little bit over a year ago. And actually, at first, I think it was the Golden Retriever Egg Challenge, and then other people with other breeds of dogs started to do it. But basically what it is, is it's testing the softness of your dog's mouth, like how gentle they are with things in their mouth. So you give them a raw egg and you see if they can like carry it around without immediately breaking it. So we're gonna test this out with both of the boys here. It should be interesting. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, and I kind of thought it at first too, is is there any sort of like danger associated with that? Because obviously with raw eggs for humans, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it's not the best. You run the risk of salmonella, stuff like that. For dogs, that's not really a concern. Even the egg shells are not bad for dogs. It's a really good source of calcium. So raw eggs for dogs, totally, totally fine. I even talked to our vet about this. I've been doing research over the past couple of days to make sure it was safe. Really the only risk you run is if one of them tries to swallow the egg whole. And that's more of a risk with like smaller dogs because it'll get like caught in their throat and stuff. But obviously these boys, they're not gonna do that. They're used to it. We literally just proved that with all the plastic eggs. So. I'm here in case anything happens, but it shouldn't happen, and it should be entertaining. I don't know, we'll see. I think Cooper, honestly, I think he's gonna be able to do it. Coda, 
I think he could do it, but I don't know if he's actually gonna take the egg from me. I think he's gonna be a little bit weirded out by a raw egg like that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if either one of them cracks it. Here we go. We're gonna start with Coda. Here we go, dude. You want this? It's a nice egg. It's a raw egg, though, so you've gotta be very, very nice. You've gotta be nice, dude. Take it. Here you go. Take it. Come on. Take it, but be nice. Don't just lick it. You have to take it in your mouth. See, like, Coda doesn't really like taking tennis balls or anything like that. He doesn't really like balls in his mouth. <laughs> If that makes sense. So that's that's why I was worried that he wouldn't really want want to take the egg from me. Maybe if I put it down, we'll try putting it down. Good boy, you've got to be nice with it though. You could break it. Oh, he kind of got it there. Oh, nope, that's not a good idea. That that would be a bad idea to step on it. Get it. Pick it up. Come on. Get it. Here. Take it. Come on. Get it. Take it. Take it. He just has no interest in it now. Go to look. Coop, your turn's next. Coda, look, look, Coda. All right, yeah, I, I think this is a fail. Coop, come here. Do you want it? Are you gonna be a good boy? And are you gonna be nice? We always say that when we want him to take treats nicely. Be nice, be gentle, okay? Be nice, take it. Does it smell weird? Because it smells like your brother. Be nice, take it, here, get it. You gotta be nice with it. Oh, he's not being nice. You gotta be nice with it. Cooper, not on the rug, not on the rug. No, come here, come here, come here, come here. He actually didn't break it yet. Okay, so that's a good sign, but we don't want another rug in case you do break it, you know what I mean? Come here, come on. You gotta be nice. You're being a little aggressive, like you're, you're a little strong with it, you know what I mean? Up, oh, up, oh, Cooper, up, oh, did you break it? There was like a loud sound of it hitting your tooth, but. Cooper, come here, drop it, drop it, give it to me. You, got, you have to give it back. You have, you have to give it back, dude. Come here. Drop it. It's not broken. No way. We're gonna try this one more time, all right, bud? Just to prove it wasn't a fluke. You're two for two so far. Let's finish up strong. Here we go. Be nice, go get it. Get it, good boy, get it. Be nice. That is such a good boy. You can like hear it clanging against his teeth but uh, he doesn't actually break it. Look at that, oh, don't, don't sit over here and chew on it. I know that's what you like to do with toys, but he can totally pick this up without breaking it. And just to prove to you guys that it is in fact an egg, let's take it over here. All right, Coop, you wanna see it smash? Here we go, you ready, Coop? Oh, so gross, so gross, buddy. Do you wanna have that? There you go. So yeah, raw eggs are a good source of food and stuff for dogs that can have that, but uh, boom, there you guys have it. Coda just didn't trust me. Cooper succeeded. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cooper, Coda, thank you guys so much. That was fun. Nice little Easter egg hunt. Wish Chelsea would have been here so we could have had like both of them going at the same time and like two cameras and everything like that. But uh, I was a little bit limited for this episode and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Drop a like if you guys did. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys later as a sneak peek of some future episodes. Today also happens to be April Fool's Day. Obviously, we couldn't do an Easter and an April Fool's at the same time. So we might try doing like pranks on the dogs next week. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any ideas down in the comments. And then also, I recently made a pretty exciting purchase for this summer. As I said earlier, it's been a nice day. Things are starting to warm up here in Florida. Check this thing out. This is a mega-sized magical unicorn island. It's nine feet tall, big enough for six people to be in it, and it's a float for the lake. So we're obviously gonna get the boys on that. It's big enough for Coda to get on there and feel like he's on solid land, I hope. I don't know, we'll see, but uh, it should be interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.